Now, the summary, that's also the part of that um, top part of that newspaper, right? That's going to be impactful. First, you're going to have that impactful, awesome headline. Then it's going to come into the actual summary, having an impactful summary, because that's going to tell the criminal crime of everything that you bring to the table and will dictate whether or not you go into that call pile for an interview or they will continue reading your resume. Because again, that's the top part. And then that first page is awesome. The second page is just for information. But we're going to talk about how to do it. I'm going to show you different ways on how to set it up in your resume visually to make it really nice as well. And these are clients that I've written for. Okay. So an impactful summary should be give a high level overview of what you bring to the table. It's like your introduction of who you are. And be careful of taking um, different, um, um, I've seen people take written what somebody else wrote and then they take it and make it their own. No, think through what it is that you do. Because just because it sounds good on that person's resume, it's not necessarily going to be for you. Because remember, you're still going to have to go into that interview and articulate what it is that you do. So you want to make sure that it resonates with who you are. Basically, you're writing your own story. You're writing your own book. And I always tell people, writing a resume is really telling your career story. So think through what high level overview do you bring to the table and really articulate that for yourself now and this may sound uh funny but it takes a lot of work to do these things but it's going to be so well worked and when you put the time in don't wing your resume because when you wing your resume you're winging your potential salary your potential um promotions your potential career advancement your potential um um, um benefits all of that you don't want to do that so you want to put the time and effort in so you can get the return on that so you can do it so i just had to do a side Sidebar on that, but then you want to be concise and to the point. Five and impact, five to eight impactful sentences and/or statements. And uh, five to eight depends on you know the person. It could be an entry level person. It may only have three, but if you have a CEO, boy, that's a lot that you got to tell. So sometimes you got to go to the maximum of eight and try to get it down as much as you possibly can. But it's a, it's the creme de la creme, the high level. And if you end up writing a whole lot of stuff. Go through it and say, okay, what is the best of this? Yes, I may do all of this, but what is the most thing, the most important things I really want them to know before they put my resume down? That should be in your summary. And it should keep the reader's attention and intrigued because you want to make sure that you're telling that um, uh, reader that I am the person for this opportunity. I am one of the contending people for this opportunity. And that's what you want to do. And then you save the reader time. It's a six second test because if all they can get to is your your headline and your um summary and they don't probably don't even remember your name but if they get those two things and you've caught their attention trust me you're going in the call pile my resumes land interviews within usually an hour or two and people uh, have a guarantee of, i always have a guarantee you can land an interview within 60 days or less People land interviews way before there because it's so targeted and niche and it's speaking the language. That's what you want. And it cuts down your time of looking for a job. So it should be very impactful. So here's a sample one that I wrote for one of my clients. And she worked for the Girl Scouts of America. She was actually a um, non-management person and looking to move into a training management type of role. And she had did all of these things which positioned her for that opportunity. So I wrote for her, leadership professional offering corporate training experience, emphasizing a collaborative yet decisive style, creative, innovative, and strategic thinker, maximizing the potential of others through coaching and mentoring, polished presenter, Experience in training from a strategic perspective on a local, state, and national level. Clear understanding of organizational goals with the proven ability to align training to the overall strategy and execute. Adept at establishing, building, and maintaining cross-functional relationships create optimal learning experiences for trainees. And that's what they do. She and That's what she wanted to do. And she did all of the speaking all over, even on the national level. And she was like, oh yeah, I did this before. And she was just making it sound like poo-poo, like whatever. I was like, no, 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 no. That's valuable information. I didn't know that. So then I started thinking about, okay, now how can I get her into that leadership role, which she did land as because of all of these things that she did. She just needed the wording to showcase what she had already been doing. And so that's, that's part of the using those words, strategy, execute, 
execute, um, maximize the potential of others, coaching, mentoring, collaborative, because you have to have collaboration, especially she was not only dealing with trainees um, who were paid, she was also dealing with a lot of volunteers who are not paid. So you have to have a collaborative um, spirit in order to get them to do that. So that's a sample of an impactful summary. And here's another way on how you can write it as well, using bullets, which also give visual. So it's the same information, but just presented differently. And I love using bullets and, you know, uh, combinations and also using different types of bullets because I also see people use the same old bullet. It's either circle or square. <laughs> and did you know that there are so many other beautiful bullets out there? And there are, which adds additional elements and visuals to your actual resume, which will stop them in the tracks. But this is another way that you can also use in this um, impactful summary. So you don't always have to be like everybody else. And that's the different thing. You want to be different. So here's another one that I wrote for my client. Uh, results focused and multidisciplinary insurance professional with 10 plus years experience in operations, team leadership and management, coaching and customer service, proven track record in conceptualizing, managing and delivering turnaround solutions to reduce inefficiencies and boost claim adjusters performance. Well-versed in building, developing, and retaining exceptional teams to deliver on key strategic and operational goals. Skilled in empowering clients to navigate through insurance-related processes to enhance the customer experience. Leverage strong communication, interpersonal, and collaboration skills to build and sustain strategic cross-functional business partnerships. Possess a collaborative, growth, and process improvement mindset. Implement the same mindset within the operations to maximize results and achieve company goals. And who would want to talk to that person? So that tells everything that they want to do. And they also have a lot of, they were a team lead, but trying to get into the full uh, leadership um, opportunity. And they've been doing it. Let's just get them to that next opportunity. Now, sometimes people say, well, what, what about if you have um, 25 plus years? And all depends on the person and the job that they're going for. I may not always use the years, the aging people out of the process as well. So it depends. It's all about strategic strategy. What do I do for that individual? Because every resume is completely tailored and custom to that person. So if I had someone with 35 years plus experience um, going for an opportunity that's in leadership or what have you, I probably wouldn't put down 35 plus years. Now, if they need that 35 plus years going into a, a VP role, maybe I would because that VP role need more experience. So it all depends on the strategy of what I'm doing for that client. But for this one, it shows I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm, it's time for me to take the management role and get out of the team team lead role. So it made sense for me to put there that she has 10 plus years. I put the plus there because she can use this resume for um, extended time if she needed to. And she also landed her leadership role as well because she articulated exactly what she wanted. So that's when people ask me about that. Do I put it in? Do I not? There's no right or wrong way. It's very specific to the individual and the story that that individual is trying to tell for the reader. And I always say, Everybody likes a good story, so why not tell yours the right way? And here's another way. See these wonderful bullets? I just took the same information and bulleted it out differently. So here are some arrows, and it just gives that pop of visual, and it makes it easy. Instead of the dense text, it just makes it easier to read this way. So this is another way that you can showcase it. So this gives the opening sentence, and these are the bullets right up under that. And sometimes I will italicize just these to give it a another visual element, but keep this like this and I always bold. I can always bold that to also make sure that it stands out. So there's different little things and tricks that you can do with the resume so that it can stand off, uh, stand out uh, amongst all of the other typical black and white job description type resumes that everybody do. And here's another one. Enthusiastic marketing and sales leader with a proven track record of increasing the bottom line by combining expertise in business development, sales and account management, experience in implementing a strategic vision to meet and exceed the organizational goals, excel at interfacing and communicating with internal and external customers of all levels using strong interpersonal and relationship building skills for a company success. Customer focus using a strategic anticipatory and proactive approach resulting in expanded customer base. Exceptional work ethic, leader and team player with great learning agility. So those are some examples of impactful summaries that can sum up your experience based on everything that you do. What do I need to tell the reader so that I can get into that call for interview pile?